This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on advanced compression tips for Apple Compressor 4. Here, I'll show you how to turn on processor sharing to speed video compression. Well, thinking of speed, by default, Compressor uses a lot of the resources on your computer, and it's reasonably quick. It, it is multiprocessor aware and has been since Compressor 3, but you can make it more multiprocessor aware and by employing what's called clusters. We create clusters by going up to the Apple Q Master setting. Now, I will confess, I have two minds about clustering. One, they don't work reliably, and two, they may or may not speed things up. But there's actually two ways to view this, and I want to show you both. To turn this on, go to Apple Q Master and share this computer. Turn on Share This Computer, and you want to turn it on as a quick cluster with services. These other two choices require administration, which is probably more time than you want. I'll explain why in a minute. But Quick Cluster with Services is an uh, easy-to-use form. Rendering only works with Shake, so just forget rendering. It's there just to, to drive you nuts. You turn on Compressor, so we're going to share this computer for Compressor. Click the Options setting. This is a list of all the CPU cores that you have on your computer. In this particular case, I'm on a, a four-core iMac. You always want to set the number of instances to one less than the number of processors you've got. That way, the operating system still has a processor it can use. It's not totally destroyed by compressor hogging all resources. So set it to one less than the number of processors you've got. And click OK. The rest of these settings are all fine. Leave them alone. Don't worry about advanced. Life is too short. Click OK. Now we've enabled sharing. Well, let's just go back here and turn sharing off and do a quick test. This is a 15-second clip, and I'm going to compress this, and let's just see how long it takes. This, by the way, is simply listing the batch name. It has absolutely nothing to do with anything. Notice I've got this set to this computer, and this computer plus is turned off. Those are the default settings. So let's just see how long this takes. Click on active, wait for it to show up, twirl down, cheat by clicking the letter I. It says it's going to take about 25 seconds to compress this 15-second piece of work. 19 seconds. Okay, it took 19 seconds. As you can see where it says time elapsed. It took 19 seconds to compress this. Let's go back and do the same thing. I'm going to call this V2 so our names don't conflict. And this time we'll go up to QMaster, share this computer, turn on, share this computer, quick cluster with services. All the rest of the settings are the same. Remember, we set this to be 3. Now, when I go to Submit, Youth Culture, this computer, this computer is going to look at all the resources on this computer. Click on Submit, and let's just see if it's any quicker. 10 seconds. So it's almost twice as fast on the same computer. And all I did is I turned on Share Computer. This is a really effective way of significantly speeding up your compression on a single computer device. I recommend it. It works great, saves time, quality of the, of the image is the same, the size of the image is the same, and no small children are injured in the process. If you need to stretch your training dollars, the subscription membership to our video training library can save you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Adobe and Apple software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on advanced compression tips inside Apple's Compressor 4. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 96.